Welcome this journey of wisdom and self-discovery. Today we're diving into the Stoic principles of self-respect and how to achieve it. Marcus Aurelius says, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. In a world where emotions can feel like turbulent waves, how do we find our anchor in this storm? Well, buckle up, because we're exploring seven enlightening lessons inspired by the Stoics. These lessons hold the key to mastering your emotions and navigating life storms with unwavering resolve. But first, hit that like button to show some Stoic love. Lesson 1. Define your worth from within. Epictetus says, First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. How do we define our worth from within? In a world that constantly bombards us with external standards and measurements of success, it's high time for some serious reform and self-discovery. Here's the golden rule. Your worth isn't a product of your job title, your appearance, or the opinions of others. It's intrinsic, and it's time to embrace that truth. To really let this sink in, let's dive into the art of self-reflection. Take a moment to uncover your core values, beliefs, and strengths, the essence of what makes you uniquely you. Your worth is intricately tied to this authentic, special sauce that sets you apart. So, cut loose from the chains of external validation. Embrace the raw and real you and understand that, my friend, you're more than enough just as you are. However, until we embrace and value this, we will never truly achieve self-respect. Ask yourself, who am I? This is a basic question, but let's elaborate. Are you a reputation, an estate holder, a perception of yourself? What is your purpose and motivators? Lesson 2. Develop Self-Compassion Marcus Aurelius says, The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Ever experience that nagging voice in your head, the relentless inner critic? Oh, we've all danced with that devil but it's high time you become your own supporter. Picture this. Self-compassion is the secret technique to silence that inner critic once and for all. Treat yourself with the same kindness, understanding, and unwavering support that you'd readily offer to a dear friend facing life's challenges. It's about recognizing that making mistakes and encountering setbacks is as much a part of the human experience as breathing. So, instead of giving in to that inner critic's relentless beat down, Let's flip the script. Shower yourself with words of encouragement, understanding, and empathy. Be your own friend who lends a hand when times get tough, especially in those moments when self-doubt tries to take the stage. It's time to show that inner critic the exit door and embrace self-compassion as your most potent tool on the journey to heightened self-worth. After all, you are the author of your own book. Lesson 3. Set Boundaries Marcus Aurelius says, Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Imagine boundaries as an essential principle of self-worth. They're important defining factors in what you will and won't accept in the grand aspect of life. Think of it as an act of self-respect, a bold declaration to the universe about your needs, values, and limits. Boundaries are all about maintaining order and protecting your emotional and mental well-being. Identifying your needs, values, and limits is like creating a map for you to navigate life. And the best part? You get to be the creator. Once you've penned down your rules, it's time to communicate them with the clarity of a Roman emperor issuing commands. Saying no when necessary becomes your stoic power, a powerful stance that prioritizes your own well-being without an ounce of guilt. Boundaries aren't just rules. They're the force field protecting your well-being and self-worth. Picture this. Healthy boundaries empower you to craft a life that harmonizes with your true values and goals. It's not about building walls. It's about creating a sanctuary where your values and principles can thrive. So dawn on your stoic virtues because it's time to be your own protector and champion. Set those boundaries with the strength of a Roman emperor in action and watch as your life transforms into a narrative of empowerment, self-respect, and unyielding self-worth. Get ready to take center stage in your novel.
Lesson 4. Practice Self-Care Seneca says, How does it help to make troubles heavier by bemoaning them? The exhilarating realm of self-care is a pivotal principle to achieving self-respect. Envision this. Self-worth is like a sturdy sailboat navigating the vast sea of life, and self-care serves as the wind that fills its sails. In this analogy, self-care propels the boat forward, guiding it through the currents and storms, ensuring a smooth and purposeful journey. Just as a sailor tends to their vessel, practicing self-care becomes a wind that carries you toward a destination of fulfillment and authenticity, steering your self-worth on a course of abundance and resilience. First and foremost, it's time to shed the notion that self-care is a luxury. It's an essential investment in your well-being, a pact with yourself to prioritize self-nurturing amidst life's hustle and bustle. Imagine setting aside dedicated time for relaxation, immersing yourself in activities that bring you joy and setting the stage for optimal physical and mental health. Consider self-care as your golden ticket, a pass that grants you permission to recharge, replenish, and hit the reset button. It's not about being extravagant, it's about being intentional. Whether it's a quiet moment with a book, a brisk walk in nature, or a soothing bath, these become the stoic tools in your self-care arsenal. Here's the secret sauce. As you make self-care a consistent practice, you're not just treating yourself, you're cultivating a stoic routine. This routine becomes the catalyst that empowers you to show up as your most authentic self in every aspect of your life, at work, in relationships, and most importantly, in your relationship with yourself. Lesson 5. Embrace your uniqueness, Epictetus says. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. The spotlight should be on celebrating you. Let's dive into the analogy, comparison, the kryptonite on the path to self-worth. It's like a dark cloud that obscures your unique qualities. In this lesson, the call is clear. Stop measuring yourself against others. Your journey is a solo expedition, a narrative written exclusively for you. It's not a race, and you're not in competition with anyone else. Each of your traits represents a facet of your personality, experiences, strengths, and aspirations. Your journey is a canvas waiting to be painted, and it's time to celebrate what makes you special and valuable. Your uniqueness isn't a weakness. It's a strength, a hue that adds richness to your life. Embrace it. My friend, you are not here to compete. You're here to shine. Embracing your individuality is like stepping into the spotlight, casting away the shadows of comparison, and letting your brilliance dictate your life. It's time to put on your own show, a performance that celebrates the distinct melody of your life. By focusing on your own path, free from the distractions of comparison, you deepen your self-worth. Remember, you're not a supporting character in someone else's story. You're the protagonist in your own novel. It's time to embrace your uniqueness and celebrate your individuality. Let the world witness your authentic self. Lesson 6. Learn and Grow Epictetus says, Don't seek for everything to happen as you wish it would, but rather wish that everything happens as it actually will. Then your life will flow well. This is your dynamic adventure of continuous growth. Imagine self-worth as a flourishing garden, and in this lesson, we're delving into the art of cultivating resilience and strength through the process of learning and growth. Self-worth isn't a fixed, unchanging entity. Instead, it's constantly evolving and improving. Challenges, setbacks, and even failures are not signs of a diminished garden, but rather opportunities for growth. As it rains, the soil is nourished and fosters the conditions for a stronger, more resilient mindset. Let's explore this mindset shift. It's time to embrace a mentality of constant improvement. Envision yourself as a skilled gardener, tending to the various aspects of your life with care and intention. Every experience, whether positive or challenging, becomes a fertile ground for learning, adaptation, and personal growth. In this analogy, setbacks are not roadblocks but stepping stones in your garden. They pave the way for a path of stepping stones guiding you toward a stronger and more worthy version of yourself. Like a gardener who learns from each season, 
you too can extract wisdom and strength from every twist and turn in your life's journey. It's time to flip the script. Setbacks are not indicators of diminished worth, but rather catalysts for an enriched, resilient self. As you embrace this mindset, you're not merely navigating life, you're actively participating in the continuous narrative of your growth. Your journey becomes a map to learn and adapt. This makes you stronger and more worthy. Lesson 7. Surround yourself with positivity. Cato says, I begin to speak only when I'm certain what I'll say isn't better, left unsaid. The final lesson, a masterclass in shaping your self-worth through the power of positivity. Your self-worth is an ecosystem, and we should be crafting an environment that nurtures and elevates who you are. In this analogy, your environment and the people you surround yourself with dictate who you are. Your surroundings significantly impact your self-worth. Let's create a positive, supportive space that acts as building blocks. Evaluate your social circle and spaces as the elements that either uplift or drag you down. Are they encouraging your growth, or are they casting shadows on your sense of worthiness? Take a moment to distance yourself from negativity and toxic individuals and energy. It's not about cutting ties abruptly, but rather intentionally curating your social circle. Now, seek out positivity, inspiration, and experiences that align with your values. Surround yourself with people who uplift, inspire, and support you on your journey. These are the real individuals you want to surround yourself with. You are the curator of your space and tribe. You dictate the composition of your life. By curating a positive environment, you set the stage for a performance where your self-worth shines. After all, people thrive in tribes. Let's actively craft a space and tribe that reinforces your sense of worthiness and self-respect. As you surround yourself with positivity, watch as your self-worth becomes more present and sustainable. And there you have it. Seven lessons inspired by the Stoics to elevate your worth. Remember, this journey is profound and ongoing. Your worth is intrinsic, and as you practice these lessons, it becomes the foundation for a fulfilling life. Self-worth is not a destination, it's a continuous journey. With each step, you strengthen your belief in your own value, empowering yourself to live a life aligned with your true worth. Thanks for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Smash that like button and subscribe for more mind-expanding lessons. Stay strong, my fellow Stoics.